my fellow Americans. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Please explain your use of student document readers during your history classes. Six people volunteer on the first day of class. They come up to the front of the class and I give them a primary document to read. And I usually give them something with swear words in it or dramatic words in it um, to test their ability to say whatever needs to be said in a historical sense. Uh, in something that they can be dramatic about, and I ask them to be in character. They have to absolutely become that voice of the past. They have to become believable, just as if they were doing the play. They have to make that person come alive. So the students believe what they're reading. Because some of the stuff they're going to be reading, to our modern minds, sounds absurd and unbelievable. What were these people thinking? So we'll want to dismiss it. But if I can get my students to convey while they're reading that these people were absolutely sincere in what they said, then it'll help me try to convey the point that I'm trying to make about history, to make the past come alive with all of its absurdity. So at any rate, so they have to do a contest. Six people come up, they read the documents, I have them turn around, and my entire class silently votes with their hands as I point, and they pick the three they want. By the way, the other reason I do this is because if I was the only talking head for a whole hour, every day, every week, I don't care how exciting I was, my students would be born. So I want to bring in fresh voices, a fresh look, their own fellow students, uh, just to mix it up, just to give students something else to listen to, something else to, uh, to look at. I too sing America. I'm the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow I'll sit at the table when company comes. Nobody dare, dare say to me, eat in the kitchen. Then besides, they'll say how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too am America. So Langston Hughes is talking about rising expectations of black. An idealistic dream or hope that blacks eventually 